We now return to Ominous Prime. Hey, welcome back. This is Jason, also known as Ominous Prime. And I just wanted to go over kind of like an update to what's going on with my channel uh, for like the past week or so. So there's been a lot of personal changes recently that have gone on in my life. Um, I'll touch on them briefly here. It's like maybe kind of like, I don't know if you guys are interested in hearing about any of this, but um, through Ancestry.com, uh, recently uh, located a long lost aunt. Uh, my mother's been looking for her since I was born. <laughs> Uh, because my mother, uh, she came from Thailand and came over to the United States. Um, and she was looking for her mother and the rest of her family who actually had came to the States ahead of her. And it wasn't until like this past week or so that we were actually able to find them. And keep in mind, this is the span of my lifespan that she's been looking for her. Um, and the rest of her family. I'll be putting out a, a video that kind of goes through kind of like an overview of my experience with Ancestry.com because it wasn't just this particular thing that occurred. There's been other things that have occurred with my family and using that. And I'd like to, to put that out in a video and see if anybody else has had any kind of the same type of experiences that my family has. Um, the other thing that's occurred is uh, my daughter, uh, my youngest, she had her birthday, and she uh, started school uh, this week. She needs some additional help, so she's started school. She just turned three, and uh, very exciting for her. And other things I've been working on is I've been training with some new software to improve the quality of the videos that I'm putting out here, working on things like audio, improving uh, the processes that I learned when I was in school for this, uh, I graduated back in 2005 with an animation degree, but it's been a long while. So there's a, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but I'm getting back into it. I've also set up a uh, Patreon. Uh, it's more or less there just for tips for if anybody wants to help with the channel. Um, you know, you'll be able to go ahead and contribute there if you're in a position to where you could help out. And it's much appreciated. But in the future, what I'm looking to do is to um, build special content that would be available first through Patreon. Uh, eventually, it'll go to other places. Um, I'm also an artist, so I'll also be putting some art up on there. For anybody that's interested, I believe that we can get them like on T-shirts, mugs, other types of things like that. And I've also started pre-production for stop motion animation projects that I'll be putting on here. Everything for the most part has been created by me. This whole channel is pretty much just a uh, one person show as it were. However, I do get support from my wife to go ahead and um, be able to go ahead and do this. So she's amazing and helps out so much. In keeping with, you know, what this is, is a YouTube channel. Um, there are new videos that are coming. Um, what I have slated in the works coming soon would be a review for uh, Transformers Buzzworthy Blue Streak. I believe that's what they put him in. Um, and that should be, the video will be coming soon, but the, I'm actually getting that today. And there will also be... Um, reviews of third-party Transformers products um, that have come out, but I have uh, several that I'll be going throughout through the months here. Some of them you've probably seen plenty of videos on where they go over the transformation and things like that. What I wanted to focus on is more of my experience with the companies that put these products out and what that particular product was and anything over time, you know, that you should be aware of or um, on the lookout for. And we can have conversations about that. I'm also working on a review for WWTK22. I believe I said WWE2K22. 
Um, the NWO for Life Edition, I got that for the Xbox Series X. I'm going through like the My Rise portion of that right now. There's so many different facets to a game like this that you can play, uh, but uh, that'll be coming uh, shortly. Um, I already mentioned that I'll be going doing an overview for Ancestry.com and my experience with that. And I'm also working on a review for Reacher, uh, which is a series on Amazon Prime that came out about a month ago. And I want to kind of like kind of compare two different products that are out there for it, um, how well they, they stuck to the, the source material when creating the series for Amazon Prime. Um, so if you've either been a fan of the series of the books or if you've already watched the show, you know, you can still watch my video and still get something out of it. I've been searching for a PlayStation 5 console, but I'm, I'm one of those people that won't pick it up if it's not at retail or lower, you know, like a sales. And I know a lot of you are probably laughing at me for kind of sticking to that, but I don't want to pay scalper prices to go ahead and get a console, especially when there's not not anything that's specific for me is a must have to have right now, but right now what they're doing is they're putting out the games on the PlayStation four and the PlayStation five. And some of these games are going over to PC. You'll find that I'll have a lot of reviews that will have like Xbox on there along with Nintendo switch and a lot of games that'll be through game pass. And that's because of what I have available. And, also on PC, I find that for the most part for PlayStation, it's more for like exclusives. I do enjoy their games. It's just, it wasn't a priority to get that one first this time around. The Nintendo Switch, which has been phenomenal for like the last, I believe it's been five years now that it's been out. We also have the Xbox series consoles in our home. There's been plenty to play, especially if you have a Game Pass subscription. If you're in the hunt for uh, an Xbox Series X, and I say X specifically because the S has been actually pretty easy to find, at least in my area, but the um, the Series X consoles have become a lot more available recently. So if you're in the, you know looking for it or in the hunt, as it were, you should be able to obtain one without much problem. For me, the PlayStation consoles uh, is more about uh, single player types of games um, you'll find that the stuff i review here tend to be like rpgs or adventure games uh, i don't do a lot of multiplayer games maybe it's because i'm like a grumpy old guy because i don't have a lot of time that when i go to play a video game that it's dependent upon how somebody else might be playing the game that I don't know that may just ruin my experience and matchmaking and what it was back in the old days wasn't always going to get you the best experience. You'd have to know some people and, you know, game with those groups regularly. And then, you know, you find yourself having a good time playing that. When you get older, you'll find that some of your friends, you know, get out of the habit and don't play as much. And that's fine. You know, life happens and there's better things to do than, you know, stick to these hobbies necessarily. You know, for myself, it's about the escapism going into the world. And I like these expansive games that are like that. As far as like videos that will be coming here, um, I tried to keep this channel to where I'm putting out at least two to three videos a week while trying to build up bigger video projects as I'm putting out the regular weekly videos because I would like to do, if possible, every other month, put out something that requires more of my time to put something out worthwhile, even though it's just me and uh, I would like to go ahead and put that type of content out there for you so it's not just... Uh, clickbaity videos, you know, hey, watch my videos, please click on this one. Oh, I'm having such a reaction. Uh, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Did you hear about this? Did you hear about that? That's not really my thing. Although um, I understand why other people do it and I'm not saying anything bad about anybody that does that. I just want to go ahead and make this a place where people can come, enjoy content, have fun, talk about their hobbies. 
I'll put out more gameplay footage. I may not review every single thing that I'm playing, but I may put out videos of things that I am playing. But otherwise, um, that's what's going on with the channel. So I'm putting this out there so that you can see that there is going to be new content out here that's going to be regular to this channel and to grow it. I need your help here. If you could remember to uh, share, like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell uh, to help my channel grow. It helps out if you are enjoying the content. And hopefully you are. Um, give me feedback. You know, Let me know if there's stuff that you like, if there's stuff that you don't like, anything that I could do better. Please let me know so I can go ahead and improve these videos and get things out there the way that you'd like. All right. So that'll be it for today. Um, I'll get those uh, videos out here shortly and I'll catch you all next time.